Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here, and as you can see, we're going to look at the Yellow Jackets again today. This is that Yellow Jacket nest that I caught the other night. I've already posted one video about it, and we got to see them all doing their thing in their nest, and this is the second video. We'll do a whole bunch of videos because I have a plan. What is my plan, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. Yellow jackets eat spiders, right? So we can get them to eat the baby black widows or black widows in general, right? Well, at least that's the plan. Well, I hope, right? Once again, let's get this straight. Yellow jackets are not bees. They are wasp. They are a kind of wasp. In some areas, some people refer to them as meat bees because, yes, they can eat meat, but not exclusively. It's, it's kind of really weird. I had to look this up because I wasn't sure. And one other thing really quick. These are wasps. They're in the wasp family. They're not hornets, which I think hornet is also a kind of a wasp, and they're not paper wasps. But th And this is really weird. The paper nests that these make, just like the paper nests that, you know, wasps make in general, not the mud dauber wasps, because, you know, they make the mud ones, but the paper wasps and the paper nests, well, these wasps and yellow jackets, and they go up and they find wood and branches and little pieces of twigs, and they chew on that wood, and then they make it into a paper pulp. So yellow jackets and paper wasps, they are just these mobile flying paper production plants. You know, like you got these big paper mills? Well, these are little mini flying paper mills. Kind of cool, right? Another thing, yellow jackets do not carry pollen. You know how bees got them little hairs that catch pollen and they catch pollen on their legs? That doesn't mean a yellow jacket can't be a pollinator. It's possible, right? But they are not designed to carry pollen. They are not concerned with it. So I wouldn't say they're the best pollinators out there. But you will see these on flowers, and that's kind of weird. Also, these sting, and they sting a lot. Yellow jackets, unlike bees who sting one time, you know, their stinger comes out and they fly away and croak. That's not how it works with yellow jackets. They can sting you multiple times. So if one gets down in your shirt or down in your shorts or something, that thing's going to keep on stinging. Yeah, ouch. Until you squish it. Now, this is kind of the weird part. You, you see yellow jackets on maybe a dead carcass, but you also see them if you set down your can of soda or beer you, without a cap on it. These are them things you got to worry about getting down in there. But why is it? Do they eat meat? Do they eat bugs? What are they eating? Well, hey, this is kind of cool. The adults, like we have here, these adults are not meat eaters, generally speaking. They want high sugar content food, such as fruit. You know, if you have like a pear or an apple tree in your front yard and the pears or apples or the fruit or plums or something fall down, you'll always find a bunch of yellow jackets swarming around the down fruit. It's high in sugar. Tree sap. Well, they love tree sap. High in sugar. Nectar. Things that hummingbird. You get a hummingbird feeder, you're going to have yellow jackets out there messing around. That's why those yellow jacket traps will have some nectar in them and bam, lures them in and then they're trapped dead. So the adult yellow jackets diet is high in sugar and carbs. Well, they don't need a lot of energy. They're zooming around. But wait, they're also meat eaters. Yeah, that's the neat part. The larvae of the yellow jackets are the meat eaters. So you'll see the yellow jackets out flying around and they'll be chewing on a piece of meat or catching bugs and they will chew up this meat and they will feed it to the larva. So the adults are high energy sugar burning machines and the larvae are these high-protein-consuming meat-eaters. That's kind of weird. Unlike in the real world, where it's the kids, you know, in the human world. Kids are big into sugar. You know, the small kid, they don't sugar. And adults aren't so much into sugar. It's opposite in the yellow jacket world. Kind of weird. And then one other little, even weirder thing is, and we won't talk too much about it is, but as the adults chew up this meat, feed it to the larva, the larva excretes a sugary carbohydrate excretion, I don't know, poop, I don't know what you'd call it, which the adults will in turn also eat. That, that, is, that is pretty weird, right? So all weirdness aside, just consider it this. The adults, for their nourishment, eat carbs and sugar, and the larva, they're into protein and meat. But since the larva can't do anything, the adults, yellow jackets, got to go out there and get the meat for them. Yellow jackets can nest 
pretty much anywhere. You can find them on a corner of a building, you can find them in a tree, under the eaves of your house, or in the ground. They are very versatile. And like bees, well, I think like bees, but yellow jackets, they'll have a queen and she will do her thing and then she will hatch all these other little things who will take care of her and then the nest. So with all that educational natural history and weird biology stuff aside, I got some yellow jackets. I got this nest. I thumped them into this container and here they are. And before I started putting bugs and spiders in there, I decided, well, I better go online and see what they eat. And sure enough, like I said, hey, they eat carbs and sugar, so that's why there is a piece of pear in there with them. So these yellow jackets are eating the sweet pear juice, the nectar, whatever it is, the, sh the high sugars of the pear. That's what they're eating, and they seem to really like it. Is all of this weird? Does this all sound weird to you? Well, if you're new to my channel, well, it might, but if you've seen my videos before, oh, you'll think, eh, hey, there's nothing new here. It's just the same old stuff. Some people are beekeepers. Hey, Beanmeister22, he's a yellow jacket keeper. You know, he's got a hornet now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I want to say that, or a black widow keeper. Praying mantis keeper, yeah, got a lot of praying mantises. That's a whole nother video. So this is video number two of my yellow jacket colony. Man, I don't even like saying it like that. My yellow jacket nests, my yellow jacket captives, because these are demons. These, oh, you open this up, these will just, and they will sting the crap out of you. Can you say crap on YouTube? I guess if you can't, I just said it twice, right? Well, they will sting the dickens out of you. Can you even say that anymore? Like, they will, they will sting the Charles Dickens out of you. So. These are monsters. These are horrible. If these get in, if you, oh, they will just, these are just bad news. So we have to keep them in this sealed container. But as always, I have big plans. Will I ever get to these big plans? Who knows? So we will have another video and we will move forward, upwards and onwards, and you'll see what we're going to do. Yes, we still have Black Widows, but it's praying mantis season, so I have a bunch of those too. Now, this is the part of the video where I say, share your experiences. I'm sure everybody's got a good yellow jacket story. Feel free to share it in the comment section of this video because you know, these are yellow jackets. There is, there is nothing redeemable about these things. They're not pollinators. They will just keep stinging you forever. They will get into your can of soda or your food, and then if you drink or eat, they will get in your mouth, and then they will sting you. Oh, these are horrible. If you're allergic to bees or things like this, they will kill you. And all touchy-feeliness aside, you know I'm not big on that part, but all touchy-feeliness aside, this is the animal kingdom. They have no regret. They will kill and eat and hunt and do their thing, and they will feel nothing for it. Black Widow will come and kill something, feel nothing for it. This spider, this bug, this is nature. A lion, you know, oh, poor lion, he looks so cute. Yeah, he will eat you if he gets a chance. He's a lion. Is it his fault? No, he's a lion. That's what lions do. I mean, if you people say humans, they're the only animals that hunt for sport. I got cats. You ever had a cat? You ever see a cat? Cats will just go kill things for fun, bat them around the house, bring them here, look what I got, and then go over to the food dish and eat. So humans, man, is not alone when it comes just to hunting and killing for sport. But these things, I don't think they kill for sport. They feel, you know, threatened and they will kill. It doesn't matter. You're still dead, right? And I mean, a lion, he's killing to eat you, or just because he wants to, and then you become lion poop, and you fertilize That's the cycle of life. It's nature. But these things, these are flying little paper-making demons. All right, so leave your comments in the comment section, and hey, as always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.